welcome to another ride along with goggles um b double sunday and uh, today we've got the b double logging trailer by brian modmaker and uh yeah it's a little tricky i backed it up into here okay though took it a little bit because the uh that rear trailer is pretty short but it's definitely doable and uh cool trailer a ton of configurations um i just chose this one because i don't have a tri tritum axle configuration for the truck so there's no point in loading the trailer up although boy there's a lot of load a lot of weight on that <laughs> those drivers just based on how far back the uh the main trailer's uh, axles are should probably put a tritum on there anyway on the on the uh main trailer but you could put oh man ton well we'll see how we do on time here maybe we can review the trailer after uh it's got so many options my god um things to click on and do and whatever a lot of light options so i just went with the default and uh because i don't want to take all day getting about it so the hater shaker uh flc the old i believe it was xbs truck taken over by hatryu and uh well, I really like this truck. But anyway, we should, uh, we're in Aberdeen, where if you didn't recognize, we're up at the top of the mountain there. Let's see if we can get a, you know, one of the big hairpin road on the way down. We'll look at the map here real quick and uh, show you what we got going on. So this is the route down. We're going to go on down to Aberdeen. So through Tacoma and on over. So oh, a bunch of highway driving here. Should actually, we should stay. I wonder if it's urgent. What would happen if I took the ferry, skipped all that? 259. I went 242. It says three hours and 46 minutes. Five hours and 15 that way? What? That's insane. And this is more scenic. We don't have to go as fast. Well, four hours and 15. My weird thing is we got to do this dealy barber here okay but that'll be uh that's potentially a more interesting drive for sure we've got a scenic thingy here and a ferry crossing yeah that's what we're gonna do that is what we're gonna do i think we go by the uh pack arc proving ground too cool well, let's do that all right jump in here and get this thing sparked up whoops i'm gonna turn the trailer brake off yet and uh i really like this truck i like these old freightliner dashes so you get them in the uh cab overs and all the way up to ruta's uh classic xl which i guess is the newest of the trucks we have as mods that have that uh trailer set up Anyway, uh, reset Toby. There we go. Mirrors are good. Brakes are off. And our weight is... Whoa! Really? 110,000 pounds? Well, we're going to put it in low, low to get this thing moving. I definitely should have had more axles on the trailer. Well, that's interesting. I hope we have enough traction to get up not not too long after we get going here there's going to be a a bit of an up a little bit of a climb and you don't get a run at it because the road's so twisty the trailer looks super cool though looks amazing in the mirror view One thing I like about B doubles is watching them in the mirror. There's that little climb coming up, I think. Is this it? Or is it? Got the uh, Creech Bombs uh, 444 Cummins in here. Well, I hope we have enough traction. Here's. Yeah, we're good. I 
I like the headache rack on this truck. It's my favorite of all the logging headache racks out there. Oh, do we have a roof cam? Nope. I should need to go two nuts on this road because that rear trailer is a little short and it's corners quite nicely. But yeah, the view here is amazing. Oh yeah, I gotta remember to get a photo. Probably be a good idea to get it up here. I always like taking them on this corner here, but Wait to get around it a little bit here, and I'll grab a photo. Oh, that'll be a good photo. And the light is so good here right now. I didn't, I didn't bother adjusting it. Took her oh natural. Got to check and uh, I think this load is in sort of a semi hurry thingy. The two blue chevrons, like the two little blue arrow thingies. Pretty sure that's what it was. Oh my god, my range didn't go again. Come on. Darn. Another reminder to get after doing that other shift knob. I got to figure out how to... Uh, I'd, I'd like to figure out how to mount a camera properly so I could show how to convert a shift knob and I'll do it with that uh, that used one I have. Well, it should probably be a little different than any Eaton Fuller transmission knob you buy because it's... Th this piece here... The top knob part is, uh, looks like it's, uh, maybe it's, I don't know if it's aluminum or feels like steel. It could be cast steel and polished. I could look at it a little closer and figure that out, I guess. But anyway, so, you know, that would be the only difference, figuring out how to, uh, get something to glue. I guess JB Weld is what I used on this one. If I uh, were to have to glue in the micro switches, I could uh, um, roughen up the metal surface enough to get the JB Weld to do something. And for the main button, like on when you do these shift knobs, there's like a plunger button in the middle that uh, your range comes up and contacts. Not a lot of visibility right there. You kind of got to just swing in a prayer, but we got it. So anyway, uh, that one, maybe in the metal bit, if I have the right uh, tap, I could tap the thread in the metal bit. I didn't bother with this one. I think, uh, I can't remember if I even glued it in on this one or I just relied on an interference fit in the uh, this is sort of like a hard rubber nylon kind of thing this shift knob so it, it's not real soft boy stoey moon is looking awful gray on the inside of the interior of the truck today i rebooted and maybe the other colors in the truck don't look right I uh, downloaded the, the check my version. I had the latest version of. Everything outside's looking good.
Oh, you know what? Oh, shoot. We'll get around the corner here. We'll actually do it. Yeah, I better get on the road properly. I have traffic turned off. I'm pretty sure. Let's get that turned on. I have some last night in our... Uh... Oh, uh, I got to go to here. There we go. Traffic. Find a traffic one here. There we go. Yeah, we were doing a convoy last night just to make some miles and we turned the traffic off. It was, well, actually, you know, the good thing about it is we didn't have any of those crazy events where the AI do crazy things in convoy. And check my frame counters here. Looking good. Yeah, the CPU's running and over GPU is running overclocked right now. So I'm getting over 90 FPS, but the thing's using 300 watts, which is about 100. Well, it's using about 90 to 100 watts more than it normally uses. And the temp of the GPU is at 65 C Celsius. It's 107 FPS. Anyway, I should concentrate on getting this load there. I did put 355 gears in it, and uh, probably could have used uh, some 370s for this weight. Anyway, there we go. Keep right. Got her up to speed just in time to slow down. Oh, it's green. So, I'll show you where, oh, that's red. Oh, yikes, I guess, slam on the brakes. We got enough axles, good. I was just thinking, oh, darn it all. Is that bad timing or what? Just made a whole bunch of heat. Got the brakes all warmed up for no good reason. I guess we don't go by the pack. Oh yeah, that's it right there. This, you turn in here. I don't think it's gonna show on the map. Pretty sure the pack arc proving ground is right there. Let me see. Yeah, it's right there, right on our right. Just go down that road over there, as soon as you get around the corner a little bit. So that's halfway between Everett and uh, Bellingham. On the northwest corner of the intersection. dogs working that parameter is creeping up it just went into the sunlight there on the left side of the dash the bigger gauge an orange needle is climbing 
Come on, gotta get some RPM going, that'll help with the temperature. You can move some of the heat out of the turbo. The turbo exit. Exhaust exit. So we're still pushing it hard, but the RPMs are going up and the heat's going down in the barometer. We're gonna jump outside and have a look around here. Good doggy. Oh, 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 oh. We'll run into this guy. Looks good. Oh, I should do a drive by here. Well, that's a slow motion drive by. Oh, trying to keep it on the road. I think I'll get in. <laughs> get on with the business of driving. the very thanks bye <laughs> oh, that's funny coming through coming through oh man I went a little far there so we want Port Townsend. Wow, oh, didn't even turn off the engine. Too bad I don't have a roof cam for this. She's working hard, poor old girl. here so you can see what's coming from the right.
Man, these poles are debarked. <laughs> Ready for sale at the. Uh, we don't need to be taking them to the mill. We got to be taking them to the point of sale. Th these are nicely dressed logs. Yikes. Well, the colors and everything look really good, but the, uh, I don't know what happened. I decided, uh, in Convoy, we were talking about, uh, last night, we were talking about, um, uh, colors and effects and whatever, trying to solve something Von Dragon had going on with his, uh, display in... Spig mentioned that snowy moon, if you're going to use HDR on your monitor, which I tried the other day in a video, you got to have snowy moon turned off. Or it messes up the nighttime view because at night it was, everything was just gray, unless you're under a light. So this morning before starting this video, Saturday morning I'm making it, I tried, uh, I uninstalled snowy moon and uh tried the hdr but the hdr still looks really bad at uh in the dark so if you switch to nighttime it just changed the time of day have a look at it it's pretty brutal it just does not look good and i like driving at night so you want the inside of the truck and everything to look good so i turned hdr off and i reinstalled snowy moon i actually went and made sure i had the latest version and uh i do but i th think still look a little off oh this is that big u-turn thing we have to do okay i haven't done this before I should look at the map because I may have let's see where are we no I've never taken this one before that's interesting okay cool that's where we're going big Aberdeen sawmill I'd be ashamed to saw these logs up man they they'd be good for building they're all kind of perfect they do got rings around them here and there that looks like they've been debarked looks like something to debark or would leave behind but yeah the game colors are looking pretty good got the chain bumper on there love the head. I love the logging rack I like that it's high enough I like that there's an exhaust option that doesn't stick up way above it now we gotta just stay right left here
See that fifth wheel slide on the dash? I don't know if you can pick it out. It's the one beside the lower of the warning labels there. Sure be cool if you could do that. Man, that would be the most awesome option. If you could move your fifth wheel location. Especially on, you know, depending on the reach on the neck of a trailer. Like you put one of those long neck uh, options. You see some of the, uh, I'm trying to think of which ones. Some of the um, Jeeps and some of the low boys have uh, an optional neck. You can flip it down for a longer reach. And uh, which is really nice. Makes it a little handier uh, around town. Like if you got to get around corners and stuff, and if you got the space between the, the you know, like your mud flaps on the truck and the drop at the at the gooseneck or at the low boy. If you can get that whole trailer move further ahead and the pivot point on the fifth wheel further ahead on the chassis, then when you go around a corner, you're not dragging the, a real long trailer across the civilians and stuff. It's kind of cool. And it's also, it's for weight distribution in real life, but I mean, we don't get dinged for weight distribution in the game. So I'm just thinking about an advantage for the game. If they measured you across the scale on per axle, then wow, that'd be real handy to have. If you, would that ever, whoops, would that ever be immersive? I have to stop at the scale and move the sliders on the trailer and the truck. Like you can with the SCS ones, you can move the sliders on the trailer. I've, I've, uh, I'm, I've demonstrated that. That's been quite a while though. You know, that F7 and you go in there and truck adjustments. If you got a trailer, like, see that Seminole one right there? That trailer, it's an SCS trailer, of course, but that trailer, you can move those sliders back if you choose the chassis option when you're buying the trailer. If you haven't seen that or don't know how it works, I can always show it again. Let's make sure we're not turning left up here. Oh, darn. But I have a quick, oops. That's not what I wanted to do, I want to do this. Now we're turning right. If we get the bridge up there. Turn right. I think there's a uh, drawbridge up here that might be either open or closed. There it is up there, yep. Yeah. Let's we'll see if we get a boat or not. Oh, we're turning before it. So that's an active bridge up there. It's a lift bridge. I don't see any action going on. No boat. I gotta do more skins for this truck too. I think I got, I don't know, four or five. The last one I did for it was a McGinty's. I have an old school, I got this Mulligan's, McGinty's. Uh, not sure if I did a Flatbed Brothers for it. That would be a shame if I didn't. <laughs> Hear that, Scott? <laughs> oh my god.
wonder why they had us duke and jive all through town like this. You see this, sweetie? We're rolling a stop sign. There we go. This isn't the one that complains at me. This is Zmod's uh, Tom Tom Lori. She's not nearly as sarcastic as the one I made there. Is our finish line up there? After 100 yards, turn left. Oh, there's a safety meeting. Turn left. Chad, right in the middle of it. Okay, I can do anything. Oh boy. Oh boy, are we in for it. Well, if I get my poop in a group, this shouldn't be too bad. I go slow. Man, what a racket outside the truck. So the one advantage to the shorter trailer is it'll turn really quick. The downside is how I manage the, the front trailer. So, this could get interesting. Okay, let's see. Just gonna idle it. Oh, I'm gonna hit that log right away. It's what we're gonna do. Right off the bat. Yeah. Where are we? Maybe we can sneak it around it. Hope they didn't put a big hut. No, we're good. Now, see that trailer turns so sharp. I'm way behind already. So we'll fix that right now. Because it's shorter. Like it turns really sharp. Oh. I gotta start driving the front trailer. Yeah, so we're a little late. Gotta get that trailer coming back. There it goes. Yeah, it's no good stepping on the throttle when you're trying to do this. And you just, the faster you get out of shape. Yeah, now we're in trouble because we gotta get around this gate. We won't we won't catch that little trailer because it's so short, it's gone. So that's good though. We're in a in a good position to do a pull-up and nail this thing. Stalled it. Well, I guess it's not hard. 110,000 ludicrous pounds. job delivered yeah we're 35 minutes what I'll do or so I'll take a real quick look at the uh, trailers just to show you what it's about
Wow, it's 25 to 12 already. I gotta start my live stream soon. Uh, -oh. uh okay, trailer. Let's go. We'll just pretend we're buying one. And Brian. And so you see all these different bits you can buy of it. Oh, look at this one. That's a triple. God, why didn't I try that? Well, it's B double. So what's the difference here between that one and this one? Oh, the rear trailer has holy cow i didn't see that well i'll be dragging that around here pretty soon my god imagine the load you can get on that you need a tri drive and the one we're driving right now is wow this one right here we don't have the fence on the front but uh, boy there's a lot of things oh wait a minute what's with the uprights on this one so i am actually driving this one with just a uh, tandem at each end of it. And this is, look at this, this is interesting. This is a, uh, like a turnpike double configuration. It's got a converter right in the middle. God almighty, look at that thing. Be a month of sudden, they doing up the wheels on it, but. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's a pretty cool little mod. I like uh, Brian Mod Maker. I like his trailers. Uh, I've got two of them. I'm going to have to get some more. But anyway, better leave it there. I got to get uh, a bite of lunch and then get ready for the live stream. So, um, as always, I uh, really appreciate you guys following along. And um, we'll catch you on the next one. Take care and bye for now.